Welcome to the show. And today on the show, allowed to talk, I'm going to talk about our vehicle that was hit by another vehicle when we were in traffic. And I have this phone backwards, so I don't know if it's taping right or not. So, are you just keeping on dancing? I hope so. I hope it's not upside down, but if it is, it is, I guess. So, here I am in my backyard. We'll talk about the accident that I was in when we were just sitting still with our car in park and the car running and a bad accident had just happened. And there's my beautiful German Shepherd dog. Isn't she a beauty? I've been sidetracked again. So we're sitting there just waiting for them to, with all the, you saw the video if you watched my video from like three days ago where they were bringing ambulances and the fire truck to clear the road. We were just sitting there waiting with our car in park, but running because we had the radio playing and the lights on because it was like 8 o'clock at night, 8.30 when it happened. And it was dark outside, right? Abby, you were in the car. When this lady whammed into us, she was parked about maybe 10 feet behind us in line. And when my husband went back to see what happened, she said she didn't know what happened, that she had her car in park. And it just accelerated and lunge forward like a vendetta against our car so it's a mystery and i thought it was maybe an emergency uh, one of those vehicles coming to help that swerved to the left and hit us because we were in the right lane but couldn't get over because traffic wasn't moving here's our zinger light camper this is why we need our vehicle repaired because we're going to be towing it. We're going to be towing the Zinger Light the Crossroads down to Alabama where we're moving. So here's the damage I wanted to show you guys. We were sitting in traffic parked right here, this bumper. It's away from the car. We got our estimate of 6,449 and some odd cents. Unless they find other things wrong when they tear this part off. Take this part off. This smashed in here. Here. The back. My dog came flying up. We had the um, her kennel broken down and she flew into that. I don't know if she was okay or not. Mentally, I was not okay. Not even close to being okay. So, the place that's repairing it for our insurance um, said they had to order a new hatchback here, the rear hatchback door, because that can't be replaced. And they said, do not open it, because it might not close again. So we're going to have to put our dog in from the back, from the back seat here. Like, open up and let her get in the back here this way. You can tell we have a German Shepherd. Because look at all them hairs. So, what was scraping when it backed, when we backed in? They checked it out and said, this is fine. That we can tow the camper. The, what was scraping was the hookup. My husband uses a lanyard from work to tie up the electric um, from the Kia back to our camper for the brakes for the camper and everything. But they said this is all still fine. Luckily, we did not have the ball on because that could have <laughs> wrecked a lot of things under the car. So he takes it off every time we come home. So it's going to take $6,449. Just from sitting still in traffic. She says she still doesn't know. She said she didn't know. We don't talk to her, of course, because she's from a different city. She's from our, our state, too, but we were in Arkansas. So, I'm thinking something's up with the locking system, because my husband did lock the car. Here's part of the electric that was dragging on the ground. While we were backing up into our driveway here. Because it was down low. That's why I thought the hitch was a mess or something. That we would have to replace that. But. 
Yeah. Her car just accelerated like vengeance like like attack mode I guess is what I would say so they did find one though so they found one for our 2020 today's 2022 it's voting day I voted today November 8th 2022 here's our little zinger camper again I'm all excited about him retiring we had a little luncheon at his work today for that, and that was fun. And uh, I'm just thankful we weren't hurt. Or our puppy, our year-old German Shepherd, because she is so cute. Look at that girl. She's doing better with her food, not being so aggressive. She did when I gave her a hard-boiled egg, just the white part. She was a little bit like, don't steal my egg from me. But she's getting better with the food possession. And she's so cute. Look at that. You want to catch Frisbee right now? Say yes. Yes. That means yes right there. It's been raining all day here in the Midwest of the USA. So everything's a muddy bath mess. Water. See if she can catch the frisbee. Ah, good job. Caught your frisbee. So I'm going to close the show for now. Hoping you are having a wonderful day. And that you just keep on dancing. <laughs>